G'day everyone and welcome to Southern Cross Components. Uh, I've been asked by uh, someone who's purchased one of my buffers to do a video about how to change a buffer on a, uh, a HK300 or the 270 for that matter. Uh, on my website there's some detailed instructions about uh, actually pulling the rifle apart and pulling the trigger mechanism out and cleaning everything out. Uh, they're a bit more detailed, but the reason for that is as the old buffers uh, break down, you can actually get some of the material into the uh, trigger mechanism, which of course fouls it and makes it very difficult to work. So you might have to clean it out. That's the more detailed instruction. This is the quick way to do it. Uh, I've cleared the rifle. You see there's no magazine in there. Uh, the hammer is down. And so let's go ahead and do it. I've got a three millimeter brass punch here. We don't want to use anything else. Don't use steel, you'll mark your gun. Uh, again, I can only emphasize, get the right tools for the job. Always pays to just, look, pay the money. If you're gonna play with your guns, you won't damage them. Anyway, here we go, it's quite simple. Uh, I've already got a buffer made up, which I'll just show you now. As you can see, nice two pin buffer. Uh, mine's a two pin, uh, but for the three pin, it's the same. So just put your thumb underneath the, the cap at the back. It's just got a little spring on it. Lift straight up, nice and easy. It comes off, you can see the spring there, obviously. Put that aside with your punch. Just go and insert it and push the pin out. Now, uh, unlike old English firearms, which used to come out from right to left, it doesn't matter on these HK firearms. So push your pin out, put it aside. Uh, then you can pull your buffer carrier out. There you go, here's one of my other products in there already. Pull that out, simply like that. And this one's, a, as I said, there's a two pin. We put our buffer in, line the pins up. And it should go, there we go. As you can see, nice and flush. If your buffer's a little bit loose, just use a tiny little bit of contact cement, but otherwise it's nice and easy. Put your buffer carrier back in, line your pin up. If needs be, just use your uh, punch to line the holes up. Just helps a little bit. Put your pin back through. Now when you come to put your cap on, you'll see I'll put it on a bit of an angle. So insert it down at the bottom of each side and then push forward with your thumbs and it clicks into place. And that's it. That's how you change your buffer on a H&K 300.